Hello everyone, this is Diane. I have a collective haul to share with you today. Um, most of it was from today. Almost all of it was from today. I had a fun shopping trip. Hadn't been to my craft stores in a while. But um, yesterday, my daughter-in-law gave me these game pieces. She had been cleaning out and getting, getting rid of things. So she remembered me and didn't throw the whole game away and she saved these pieces. So there's these little plastic pieces. I think, I know I showed you my uh, very vintage metal Uncle Wiggly pieces. So these are the shiny new plastic ones. So I don't think that I'll keep them. I might let the kids play with them. But she did give me the cards. And these are cute. The cards from Uncle Wiggly. So I have the vintage cards from my vintage game. And now I have these. Aren't they cute? And then this is from a different game here. And I don't know what the game was, but this would be really cute to use in a in baby journals. There's this cute little spinner. And there's like little baby figures and then these little discs with toys. So they're cute. So I appreciated my daughter-in-law saving them for me. And then I was at work at Walmart putting up my Hallmark cards and stuff and before I left I saw these in the clearance area. So there are these uh, large rolls of burlap. They were on clearance for $1.50. So I got the brown and then I got the yellow and turquoise. I'm not sure what I'll do with them but for that, for dollar fifty, I figured I would find some use for them. And then I made an impromptu trip up to my craft stores, and I went to Michaels first, and didn't get a lot. Of, <coughs> excuse me, a lot at Michaels, but everything here was on sale or with a coupon. Well, except for these. I this is what I went up for. I needed my red line tape. So I got three of those, and then this is what I used my coupon for, and it was 50%, not 40 So I got that reinforcement punch. Uh, I make a lot of my own tags. One of my Cricut cartridges makes the circles, too, but sometimes I don't want to get my Cricut out. Well, it's sitting on my counter, but, you know, this is easy, and I can use use it with um, colored papers and things. So I thought that would be cute. And with my 50% off, it wasn't a bad price. And then this was on clearance for $3. So I thought I could make some fun journaling things with these. These are made for planners, I believe. Oh, there's a stencil here. I didn't even know that stencil was there. That's cool. Bonus. And this was also $2.99. And these are dies with stamps. So they'll be fun to make journaling items and then this also dies and stamps oh I got four of those red line tapes and then I got a couple of pretty stencils for using on my journal pages this one is really pretty I'm going to take it out of the pack it has small images on it so I thought this would be nice to use for tags and journaling cards well what can I put it on there, there we go it's mostly bird theme but it's also got this flower and this little border but I think it's really pretty and actually these weren't these weren't on sale I just got them because I like them and then they had a bin, like a, a metal basket, wire basket of, of washi tapes that were three for a dollar. Most of them were holidays. There were Halloween and Valentine's, I think a couple of Christmas, but I didn't like the Christmas ones. But I found some that were just generic, so I grabbed some, although I didn't need them. But look at that one. It's so cute. And this one just says hello. And then I got this pretty orange one and turquoise and green. This one says to do, oh today. It says today. Hmm, that one just says to. Anyway, this one has words on it. And then this one is a real pretty little vine. And this one is a pale. What's it got on it? Flowers. There. So 33 cents each, not bad. Then I went to 
Barnes and Noble. And the last few times I've been to Barnes and Noble, they don't have the magazines I look for. So I don't know how many issues of art journaling I missed. I know I should subscribe, but it's expensive for a subscription. It's easier to buy them one one magazine at a time. But I, I, I missed at least one issue, maybe two. But anyway, I got the newest art journaling, which is April, May, and June. So maybe I only missed one because this is almost at the end of this one. And then I got Somerset Life. They have some really great ideas in these magazines. And I leafed through it a little bit and it looked fun, so I grabbed that. And then I went to Hobby Lobby. And I found this on clearance for $1.50. Fabulous fashions of the 1950s. And I thought this would be fun. I don't... I don't... Um, color. I have some coloring books, but I don't do it because I'm always busy doing something else for my shop. Cutting or sewing books together or, you know, all kinds of other things, but I might actually use this one. And then they had their uh, Paper Studio, all their Paper Studio papers 50% off. I didn't buy any of the books, but I got some of the individual sheets, which ended up being 35 cents or less because they're um, a little bit sturdier, slightly sturdier than the ones that come in the big pads and I can use these for covering smash books. So I got two of each of the ones that I picked out. That's pretty, isn't it? This could be an end paper for this book. Some green check and some red gingham. And I've got this I wanted to try. I saw it in a magazine. Dis Distress Resist Spray. $7.99. So apparently you spray it and it'll splatter, you know, you know, spray onto your paper and then you can use a water-based ink over it and where the spray is resists the ink. So I thought it would be fun to play with. It's $7.99, but I used my 40% off for that. And they finally had their all their stamps in. The stamp shelf has been empty since they pretty empty since they did their huge clearance, and now it was full. So I walked through and looked at the new stamps, and they happened to be 50% uh, off. So I picked up three. I love those owls. I got a seahorse because I'm going to be doing a mermaid journal, and then I got at least these little mushrooms for when I do woodlands journals. And this was. 50% off. Just uh, I think there's one yard of each of these colors of rosettes. And I got some of my ATG tape, the right one this time. And these spools. Oh, there's another one of the 33. Yeah, that was at Michael's. This uh, ended up in the wrong bag. But isn't that cool? I like that. That was one of the Michael's ones, three for a dollar. But they had... Hobby Lobby had the spools of laces for 50% off, and so I got some. And I think some of them are new. Uh, I also got these for 75 cents each. Baker, Baker's twine. But Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I didn't know it was stretchy. I don't want stretch lace. But there it is. I have stretch lace. But it's beautiful. And it was $2 for three yards. And I got this one. I use this one a lot. And this one. And I use that one. Specific ones for the edges of my papers. And that one. And that one. So I got five spools that can be used on the edges of my papers. My pages. And on the edges of pockets and things. And then this one is really pretty and I had never seen that one there before. Kind of hard to see it, I know. I don't think I ever saw this one either. This one was a dollar for two yards. And then these two. add to my large collection of lace. So that's um, Hobby Lobby. I went to uh, Joann's. 
my niece who works at Joann's had told me that they had a bunch of Tim Holtz stuff on clearance but I think I missed most of it I did get some but they still weren't great prices but <clears throat> this I just got an extra applicator because I have three but a fourth one would be handy and then I got spiced marmalade ink which I think was 50% off so all of these I think are 50% off but since Tim Holtz stuff is expensive it, this was $7.47 for this set of stamps but there's a lot of stamps and they're little, so they'll be fun to decorate little things, maybe collages and um, journaling cards and tags. I thought they were really cute. This is something new, and the Tim Holtz items that weren't on clearance were, I think, 30% off there. And these are all um, juice and milk bottle caps. Reproductions, but they're thick, like a milk bottle cap. They're really cute. Um, I don't know. Oh, 50 50 pieces in there, so that's not bad. Still lasts me a while. And then this was one of the clearance items, but still $7.97. But it's got a stencil behind, but I really liked the stamps. Love, inspire, found, create, story, and artist. I got this corner punch. This was half price. And... Again, the Tim Holtz was 30% off, and I use these quote chips a lot, so I got another another set of them. Then I went up to the register. I have more to show you, but when I went up to the register, these were up there, up near there, and these were 30% off also. And this is wrapping paper with vintage simplicity patterns illustrations. This is cut because I started, started making um, my next smash book, which is why I was using the red line tape and I ran out of it and I said, well, this is ridiculous. I can't sew and then I ran out of tape. So I just grabbed my car, my purse and car keys and got in the car and went up. So as soon as I got this paper home, I cut out this strip of it and I think I'm going to use this on the cover somehow. I will back it so it, you know, has a dark border around it, but I think that's going to be fun. And this is the other one. So these are fun. I don't even know how much is on them. Um, there's 18 inches by 120 inches. And they had a bunch of fabrics that were 60% off, so I went to investigate. And I saw a lot of Tim Holtz fabrics, 60% off. So I got more than I needed because I'm going to share. I love this one. I have the 6x6 paper pad. No, I'm thinking of 7 Gypsies. I have 7 Gypsies paper that looks very similar to this. And it's one of my favorite paper sets. But anyway, I got extra of all of these fabrics so I can keep a piece. And then I will be um, cutting them up and putting, making fabric bundles. I'm not sure when I'll get that done, but I hope that you'll want some because I bought you some. This was this is a fun one. It looks like airplane blueprints. And then there's this one, like a British post office theme. And then this is an airmail themed fabric. This would be really fun to cut apart and applique onto things. Another male one. There's a big airplane on this. A compass. This is fun. And this one. I got extra. I got extra, extra of this one. This is the one with the typewriter. I have this paper and I love this paper. So I got a large piece of this. I think I got one and a half yards of all of the rest, except for one that didn't have quite that much on it. But this one I got three yards of. And then besides the Tim Holtz, they had some other really pretty fabrics that were 60% off. And I got this one. Love this one. It's so beautiful. I love the colors. 
and I got this one. This is pink. It looks kind of pale in the camera, but it's a really pretty pink background. It's a little bit darker than what you see, but it's got all these vintage lady images and birds and gold crowns and flowers. There's a bee. There's script. It's just beautiful. So I'll be sharing some of this too. And then I got this one. So pretty. Love the colors in this one also. And last but not least, I got a new sewing machine. I'm not showing it to you because it's set up on the other end of the table here. But I wanted, as you know, if you've been watching my videos, my sewing machine just was not working. It wasn't stitching right. And I can't find a place to take it. And um, so I went to Joann's. And I found a one at a really good price. It's the same one my sister has, who's a really, really good seamstress. And she loves it. And it was, uh, I paid less than half price for it because it was on such a good sale. So I'm very happy to have that. It's got more stitches and it's digital, so I have to learn how to use that. And uh, I think I'm going to have fun with it. So I can get back to doing some sewing on my journals now. So, um, and my niece was there. I told you my niece works at Joann's and she's the one that loves smash books, or journals I mean, and um, she came over and we made a journal together, but she was there and she helped me pick out my sewing machine and she cut my fabric for me. Thanks, Danny. So uh, thanks for taking a peek at what I found today and stay tuned for some journals with stitching in them. Bye-bye.